Hey y'all, welcome back to Mulberry Brain Farm. Today I'm milk testing, which you can obviously tell by the very upset little voices back in our kidding barn. And today we're gonna be ultrasounding some girls in our herd. Our first snow of 2024. It makes everything look really, really beautiful. I always say the first couple of snows, I'm excited for it because it breaks up the dead brown gray feeling of the landscape here, especially in agricultural lands because it gets so flat and bare and it just, I don't know, it does something with me seasonally in the winter, like I hate it. But in the, the spring, in the summertime and fall, no place on earth, just winter really grosses me out. But this uh, snow has got it looking a little beautiful and chipper and bright. We get a couple more of these that are more intense. I'll hate it too <laughs> and wish for spring. But for right now, we're just enjoying the snow. Right, Pinky? Pinky is, is big, big. She's already looking pretty big. She got a, she got a little ways to go. She got a little ways to go. And then this chicken hawk is on milk test today. So she doesn't get her babies tahila or chikorita. They're being separated. I'm bottle feeding them because they are taking bottles like champs. They're just doing so good and they're growing really well. Really excited about them. Really excited about this chicken hawk here because she milked one and a half pounds at about six weeks fresh for a first time freshener. Now in other barns that might be like, okay, first time fresher, half pound and a half on her first milking for milk test. But in my barn, because we have to realize we all start somewhere, our journeys are all to different points, and our successes are objective. Your success is objective to you, where someone else says, okay, small beans, small potatoes, they don't care. But to you, if it's a big win, it's a big win. For me, 1.5 pounds on a first freshener who's a little bit over a year, now she'll be two in like March. So she's a year and 10 months. But for me, that's the best I've had a first freshener um, give on a test. I think, I'm, I'm actually pretty sure, and her udder is buttery like Willow's was, so I can really see Willow's influence in her, but those are some wins this morning. 1.5 pounds on a first time freshener, first ever, I think, in my barn. And uh, no dead gray brown landscape. It's feeling chipper and brisk like winter should. Yeah, I went ahead and bought my own ultrasound machine. It is the Caxon, Caxon, I'm gonna butcher the name because I, one of my friends used this. If you saw the video last year where we were ultrasounding some of our girls, that was with our friend Kim from Moonbow Meadows and uh, she brought over her machine. I love the way that it felt, the way that it worked. So I decided to buy one of my own too because I figured it'll pay for itself over time. So we've got our machine, I'm just gonna go ahead and you guys can see, they're getting it all on and ready. It's booting, super exciting. But we're gonna bring in some of our girls today. Now I have my list here, and you can see that I have written the name, how many days bred, and then over here in this column, I've got number of kids. Do I think that I'm going to be 100% accurate with numbers of kids now? Not even a little bit. That will come with time and practice. So today I'm just kind of trying to figure out a, a guesstimate. And, and ultimately, I'm really just trying to make sure that I get my practice. Oh my gosh, guys, hush. Your bottle's coming in about an hour. Really, the purpose today is to just practice on this machine, to get used to how it feels. I know a lot of these girls are bred because they're getting big. You saw some of those numbers on there. We have almost 90 day gestation, so it's not confirming. I might be able to see who's who how many are in there but at the same time it we might be far enough along too where there's just not a whole lot of room to really tell what's in there so uh we're just today is just to get the practice to include you wonderful people and to uh have you watch me stumble through what i'm doing here with this machine so i've got dreamer and pinky rosie haley squeakers so on and so forth coming in um let's go ahead and get the girls in here Another girl. 
Go ahead and put your head in. It's okay. Go ahead and put your head in there. So according to my records, Rosie is sitting right at 60 days bread. All right, guys, we, ha we had to stop. <laughs> I couldn't get it working for the life of me. And I'm like, I know everything is, is where it's supposed to be. So um, Kim uh, answered my Facebook message and she said, let's get on a video call. And of course she was able to walk me through and it was, it was pretty dumb. I didn't have the probe in the lock position in the back where it was plugged in. Feeling pretty, pretty awesome about that. But we got everything working. So I, I released Rosie because I figured this is enough torture for you. So I will wait on her and I'll see who, who is uh, wanting to come in for a little bit of a snack. And then hopefully we'll get, we'll get to look at some babies. so low and you're almost see now pinky's gonna be hard because pinky see, see I, I think i feel him like right she's such a big fat girl like sitting on that side so pinky is anywhere from 68 days bred to 93. because she has such a wide range if she's at 90 days like those are going to be some pretty big kids i can see that there are kids in there but I can't count. And I really am gonna show, I really wanna show you guys when I have some, probably like Squeakers, who's like 40 days, I should be able to see a little bit more defined because you can tell <laughs> she's got some girth to her already. So Pinky definitely is bred. Um, she's bred to my sister-in-law, Ashley, over at Willful Minis, her buck Isaac from RZ Acres. And uh, I'm pretty sure I saw two, but because of how far along she probably is, like it's probably just not good to really check her. This is more just to get used to the machine, like I said. Now we do have um, Squeakers who is at 40 days, and then we have a couple 60s, and then we have some 82s and 89s. So odds are with those those higher up numbers, we'll be able to see kids, but we won't really be able to get a good a good count. So say so thank you, uh, thank you to Miss Pinky. Hey, over here, say hello for being so good for me to learn on. What a good girl. <laughs> okay, I know that wasn't the best, but like that last one, you can pretty much see she's got at least two in there because one is doing a lot of dancing and one I think has lain with its back towards us. So prolifically, Sunny gave me one for her first year. Her second year, she gave me triplets and last year she gave me triplets. So I, say, I think it's safe to say she's gonna probably give me two plus again this year. Congratulations, Sunny. And Sunny was actually um, our dough that we bred to everybody. Yeah, we got a DNA test of those kids. Sunny, you're gonna have more than one. Two to three, I'm sorry about that rag. I'm sorry about that rag. Congratulations. Okay, I've got Mark's favorite up here on the stand. This is Squeaky. Squeaky's are back from the dead kid. I joke with Mark that this is her da his daughter because <laughs> this is like the only goat that he <laughs> bends to. She comes to the gate, he lets her out. He lets her come in the house, he loves her. So I joke with, these are his green babies in here. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and ultrasound her real quick and see what we got in there. Okay, Squeakers was not that best, not the best. And you can see we had to shave her because sometimes if they're too fuzzy up underneath, so like, I know some breeders probably in the Southern states don't deal with big woolly uh, coats like we do. But up here in Indiana, it gets pretty cold. It snowed today. We're, we're, we're dealing with some wool. So you can see she's had tufts cut off so that when I apply my probe with the gel, it, it makes full contact so that the frequencies that are being sent into her uterus basically and bouncing back and giving me a picture aren't interrupted by the hair. So that's the whole reason we're doing that. I'm not giving her a haircut in January because I want, I really, really want to. But I did... Um, catch a still, I'm pretty sure she's got two in there. It's not the best still, but from what I was looking at, I think we probably got two. So you guys will see here, there's like three little dots. These little, and I'm, I'm pretty zoomed in here, but those are two um, 
standalones in two different sacks. So I'm guessing that there's at least two. There is a third sack there, but I couldn't see anything in it. So I'm guessing she's got at least two in her, which two is a magic number. We don't like singles, even though for first fresheners like squeaks, singles would be totally acceptable and normal. But we like to have two because we do a we do hybrid raising. So we dam raise and we also bottle feed our kids. What this means is that two are more likely to keep her udder sufficiently drained as well as balanced because sometimes kids tend to favor a side and I will try to catch an example of this. Actually, I hope I don't have an example because then it means I'm doing a good job as um, a milkmaid out here <laughs> making sure the udders stay um, balanced, everybody's milked properly, but sometimes it, it happens. They favor a side and it can, it can lopside your... Uh, upside your udder. But two means that there's there's going to be two mouths to feed, if not maybe three. I'm really hoping two. For first timers, two is a good number. Um, two is, is a number that I think is very doable. They don't get seem like they get too um, overwhelmed. So I've got squeaky down for two. So we've, we've actually done two, three. So she's our third. Now guys, I'm not going to really take you along with every single one, but I will give you numbers and I'll try to catch... Um, a couple stills if I see some really, really good examples of maybe spines or anything like that for the girls that are further along. Alright, last one of the day. It's Rapunzel. Getting the OB lube on here. I'm just gonna hope that she's nice to me. We're gonna put it on up in here. And get some. Yeah, she's got babies there. You probably won't be able to pick it up because I've been having a really hard time picking it up. So she's got a big amniotic sac here, but Rapunzel is 89 days. Gestation is normally um, 145 to 150. So she's basically halfway through. I want to see someone kicking in there. See, it's, this is a big amniotic sac. So with a lot of them, it would be real cloudy and you would see things, but she's a big girl. I want to see there's something. I saw it on the camera. Huh? I saw it on the camera. Did you? It's moving, so there's something right there. A little peanut. There's a little peanut. It's going to be bigger than a peanut, though. That's why she's actually going to be a little bit harder. And I'm, this comes off, so I'm just going to take some of the OB gel and just put it right back on top because the OB gel... If it's not on there, this is what helps me full contact. This is your first time really using yeah, it. Yeah, this so. is my first time. So this you, you did have a uh, so you mentor can see, like, to I, help it, you. I did. I had her call yeah. because the gel's on there. It looks white, but when I put it on her to help make contact, it turns into. So you can kind of there's something right there. Yeah, there was. She's so far along though, and she tends to have bigger kids, and she's a big old fatty. She might be hiding some on me. Because this is the ed edge of a sack, it looks like. It might be sitting funny, too. Yeah, if I push up and in. She's such a fat girl. There's something there in the corner. Yep. See. You're not going to let me get a count, are you? pregnant she's had what two every pregnancy since she's had at least two so I'd probably be safe to probably conservatively put her down from one to two but she's so big if you look at her she's just a fat she's a fat lady she's a fat lady so uh, I'm gonna put her down for conservatively one to two and then she's gonna have more than two All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for us today here on Mulberry Branch Farm. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me while we test out our new ultrasound machine. Drop down in the comments how many kids you think we'll have this season. Just to give you kind of a hint, we have 19 does bred to kid in our 2024 season so far. So drop down in the comments how many you think we're going to have. And we can't wait for you to join us again next time here on Mulberry Branch Farm. We hope that you are all staying safe out there and being kind to one another. God bless you. Bye, y'all.